everybody, I'm going to be showing you a new mechanic in Batania called Corporea. Now you can see next to me a few, a few chests, and they have sparks on top. But these are normal sparks, they're not the yellow ones you can see normally in mana pools. These are either pink or blue, and these are Corporea sparks, which are used in the Corporea system. Now there's normal ones, which are the ones I have in my hand, the Corporea sparks, and this one which is the Master Corporea spark, which controls all of the other normal ones around it. If I right-click it with a data one of the forest, you can see the network itself and everywhere it's connected to, it just makes this little line that goes towards them. And what these do is they are to link inventories together in order to index them of sorts. That's a bit of a way to explain it, not very not very accurate, but it works. Now in these chests you can see they all have different items. This one has apples, this one has iron, and these few have gold on them. The other ones are empty. And then this one has mana steel. Now this one is a master one, so if I grab the mana steel, th this one still has the mana steel, but it's not visible to other chests. So if this one required mana steel, it could not pull from this one. So how does this work? Well, right now there's only one item that can interact with these, but there will probably probably be more in the future. I'm thinking of having one that, for example, when you give it a redstone signal, pulls a random item. So if I want an apple, it just pulls it from this chest. But right now I have a different block called the, the Corporea Index, which is right here. It looks like an Ender Crystal because this this stuff will require Endstone and another resource from the end I haven't decided on yet. Maybe a new one. And this one can have a spark on top, and you can see they all connect, and now this spark is connected to this network over here. So this Corporea Index now has the ability to see all the items on these other chests over here. So let's go do it, and you can see these stars come around it and this means you are close enough to the corporeal index to make a request as you can see it tells you you can you are nearby a corporeal index and anything you say will be intercepted as a request if I leave it it's gonna not say that anymore so let's get back to it and let's say apple and it gives us an apple okay but if we say 10 apples it gives us 10 apples stack of apples stack of apples two stacks of apples two stacks of apples if I say 60 apples or two stacks and two apples it's giving me two stacks and two apples so this allows you to request various things out of the network and as you can see they are no longer in this chest over here so let's just put them back for a moment now there's various ways you can do the request as you have seen right now one of them is to request um, from the item you have in your hand. So let's request another apple. Oh, it's right here. And now let's say this. It's going to give me the exact item I have in my hand. So if I say stack of this, it's going to give me 64 apples. And if I say count this, it's going to request zero apples, but it's also going to tell me how many apples there are right now. You can see there are 702 apples in the, in, in the container. If I request all apples, it's going to give me every single apple in the network. So all apples. And it just gives me every single apple. It says the maximum amount of numbers you can possibly have. So let's put these back, right? And now let's request for an iron ingot. Iron ingot. And let's try doing plurals, for example. So iron ingots, iron ingot, and this. So they all do the same thing. Of course, this does an apple because that's what I have in my hand. But now about the mana steel ingot, it's in this chest, which is still part of the network, as you can see it's there, but it's not actually visible because it's the master spark. So if I do this, it's going to request the mana steel ingot, but there are actually none in the chest. So if I was to get the ingot and then put it over here, you can see if I request, it's actually going to give it to me, if I request gold, so count gold ingot, it's going to say there's 121 in the network, which is the sum of all the ones that are over here. If I request the two stacks, two stacks of gold ingots, it's going to just give me all the two stacks and it's going to clear out all these chests of all of them. See? Now, you don't have to be verbose in this. You, you can say stack gold ingots and it'll give it to you. You don't have to say a stack of gold ingots, but you can if you want to. It's, it does the same thing, it just recognizes them both. And it works for quite a few things. You can, for example, ask for a dozen of this. Gives you a dozen of that. You can ask for two dozens of this. It gives you two dozens of that. You can ask for half a stack of this. 
oh, don't have anything on my hand, or you can say half stack this, if you want to be less verbose, you'll parse that as well. And that's pretty much the idea. You can request things using this. And that's currently the only item in the corporeal system. There will be a few more, as I said. There, you can also, you will also be able to make this in, in various networks. So as corporeal sparks have networks, they are similar to the how normal sparks have augments, so they can only have one, and they'll only connect to the network. So if I was was to make this one a white network, and this one a white network, and this one over here a green network, it, the, this, these would not be able to connect to this one because it's in a different network. That's the basic idea, which is not implemented yet. This is still a work in progress. But yeah, that's 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 how that's how it's going. It's it's working pretty well. There's quite a few combinations you can do, and I'm I may go and add a few more. Yeah, I, I hope you like the item and I hope you use it when it's out. See ya.